एवरीवन वेलकम बैक और वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हिल्डा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू डीकूपाज ऑन अ बॉटल व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड एज अ बॉटल लैंप आई बिलीव इन मैजिक आई बिलीव इन फेरीज एंड द नैपकिन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज टुडे हैज अ वेरी क्यूट प्रिंट ऑफ अ फेरी सो आई कुड कनेक्ट इमीडिएटली एंड बाय यूजिंग फ्यू एम्बेलिशमेंट्स आई ट्राइड टू मेक इट लुक मोर मैजिकल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वीडियो आई हैड गोन टू इट्सी बिट्सी and i saw this decoupage napkin and i instantly fell in love with this so i'll be using this napkin for today's project i'm using this bottle because it is wide enough for this image to fit in so for the base coat i'm going to use white gesso you can use any white gesso available in the market here i'm using homemade gesso you can click on the i button to watch my video on this link in the description box as well I just want this image rest I'm going to cut Now we're not going to use a scissor to tear the napkin but we'll use little water with the help of a brush to get an uneven edge I'll use this part later giving a rough look on all the three sides so that the paper blends in very well with the bottle and that there are no sharp lines Remove all the plies we just need the printed paper I'm using Deco Magic decoupage glue from Itsy Bitsy. It has a very easy flow and it is uh, non-tacky after drying. Evenly spread the glue on the area and place the napkin and then smooth it out with a clear plastic paper. Let the glue dry, then seal the napkin with a layer of glue from top. This step is very important as this will not make the varnish patchy. Here, the fairy is already wearing a crown, but I want to use this crown which is little bigger and place it here to give a 3D effect. Using a thin white cardboard packaging sheet so that the crown has a firm base. You can completely skip this step. I just wanted to try something different here. I plan to use this piece at the back so that there is a continuation all around the bottle. If you're new to my channel, then you can watch my other videos on decoupage. Link in the description box and in the i button above. I got these chalk paints as gifts from my friend. This chalk paint is absolutely going to match with the base color. I'm going to place this crown here later, but this is going to show the heart, so I'm going to color these as well. If you don't have chalk paint, then you can click on the i button to watch my video on how to make chalk paint at home. Link in the description box as well. Use the sponge dabber as it leaves a beautiful finish on the bottle. We will let the first coat dry very well before we go for a second coat. Okay, now I will use blue acrylic while the pink chalk paint is wet and blend it very well. Now I plan to use violet a bit of it here and there. I don't want to do much at the back of the bottle and I want to keep the focus on the fairy in the front. Adding this at the top so that it completes the look. For the skirt, I want to use acrylic color on this because I'm not liking this faded look. Okay, now let's add some glitter to the fairy to make her look more magical. Adding silver glitter to her wings and to her skirt. 
and golden glitter to her beautiful yellow hair. You can add some glitter to the rest of the bottle, but as I said, I just want to keep the focus on the fairy here. I'll surely go for a gloss varnish once the bottle is absolutely dry. The varnish is absolutely dry now and I'm going to use some of these to embellish. I plan to use these hearts here in a line. This step will also help me hide the brand name of the bottle which is coming in the way. Now let's add some cute flowers on her skirt as well as her shoes. And let's add some colorful shiny stars to add to the magic. And a glittery shiny silver star on her wand. I've cut the crown and I've varnished it. And now I want to put some beads just to bling it up. Okay, now I'm using double-sided tape uh, to give the crown a 3D effect. And I made these two bottles just to complete the look, but this is, these two are just optional. Now let's add the LED lights. All items used for this video are mentioned in the description box below. I tried to capture the mood it gave on the camera best I could, but I think it looks way much better off the camera. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up, do like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell so that you're in the loop. I'll come back with another interesting video. Until then, bye-bye, take care and I love you all. I've added a few bloopers at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy them as much as I did. You can place this bottle lamp on your bedside table to remind you that everyone needs a little fairy dust now and then. If you wish to buy anything online from It's a Bitsy, then you can use my coupon code HILDA5 for extra 5% discount. Link in the description box below. I hope this video was helpful and that it inspired you to make one of your own. Thanks for watching. Bye bye and see you soon. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do drop in a thumbs up and uh, do like, share, subscribe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do put in a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do press the like button.